Hello, I'm Professor Richard Wilding. I'm Professor of Supply Chain Management at Cranfield School of Management. Zara, for example, which is a high fashion house in, uh, in, in Europe, their whole focus was around, well, if we're going to deliver fashion, we need to make sure we have a very, very slick and fast supply chain. They recognised that what they had to do was borrow principles from, um, from basically automotive manufacturing and lean production. They recognised that they need to have very close market sensitivity. In fact, what they do is, is they have fashion scouts understanding what are some of the fashion trends walking around university campuses around the world. They also have information systems which link what is being sold in their stores back into their design area. This means that between from idea to having it in the shops can be as short as four weeks. So they'll see a particular product, they'll come up with a new design, within four weeks that will be in the store. The point is, is those products, they understand their market. High fashion, people aren't going to wear these products very many times. So, you know, it's been rumoured that they're actually only designed to be able to be war, worn 12 times. But what they were able to do was use their supply chain to compete with the traditional model of generally sort of having two seasons a year, the summer and the winter. Buyers would go out to Asia and sort of buy what they thought customers would want in 12 months time sometimes. What they were able to do is to say, well, look, we can't afford to forecast ahead 12 months in terms of fashion. What we want to be able to do is forecast ahead just a few weeks in terms of fashion, and therefore we can get the market.